Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're going to be talking about the four tips uh, in regards to contacting chain store buyers. So if you have a great consumer product brand and you're trying to sell to Home Depot, Macy's, Kroger grocery stores, CVS, whatever it is for you, and you are thinking about contacting chain store buyers, here are some four things to think about in doing that and getting started today. Before we begin, I just wanted to share who I am. I am the founder of Retail MBA. We help people get into big box retail stores. We have training programs, live events, coaching programs, done for you services. You can learn more about what we do below. Please like, comment, share, help us out. Let the world know about who we are. We've been helping people across the globe make millions of dollars with their consumer products brands for the last 13 years. So with that said, let's talk about the four tips and strategies on contacting retail buyers and what you need to know. Let's talk about contacting buyers. This is such a major misconception and causes people a lot of grief. What they do is they follow protocol. They reach out to a chain store and they say, hey, I want to sell my product to you. And can I talk to the buyer? And the chain stores will never give you the buyer's contact information because they don't want to give you the buyer's contact information because they have so many people calling them and the buyers don't want that. So what they do is they tell you to go submit your product online on their vendor portal um, and then they'll get back to you and they'll get back to you soon. You know what I mean? And so it seems common, it seems reasonable. You're following their protocol. They asked you to fill out the form. The problem with that is that it's it's an issue where there's so many problems with that. And to be honest with you, I'll walk you through why the sales professionals would never do that when they go after stores. They would never submit their product online with the hopes of maybe a purchase order. First of all, all your competitors are listed in this site, right? So Everyone is submitting through protocol. They're listening, they're submitting their information, so forth. This is the same thing for RangeMe. People always ask me, like RangeMe is a website where they a lot of the retailers are using them as a software system. And so they submit their product and then, you know, Whole Foods will review their product or whatever it is. And there's nothing wrong with these sites, but the problem is all your competitors are on there. So first of all, when a buyer is reviewing products, she's looking at yours, everybody else's. There's only very specific questions you can answer. You know, it's laid out in a very particular way. There's a lot of disadvantages to having to answer the questions their way. Maybe you have some things that you don't necessarily want the buyer to see at first. You want to have a conversation with them. You can't do any of those things when you're submitting your product online. So even RangeMe and other vendor sites are, they're all the same concept. All your competitors are doing this. And this is not how a rep typically makes any money. And by the way, who knows who's actually reviewing the product behind submitting your product online? It could be someone who's an assistant or someone who doesn't see the angle or someone who just went to the corporate buyer where it could have been a regional thing or someone who could have went to this buyer or that buyer. A lot of different strategies there. And so you'd never know who's actually reviewing the product and if it ever actually gets the appropriate buyer because there's a filtering system. And why do retailers do this? Because again, they're big established companies and that makes sense. And every once in a while, on a very tiny margin, that somebody actually gets some magical conversion, but I've done this, taught this 10 years. I don't know about anyone, maybe one or two of my clients, very few of my clients have ever made money this way. So again, it does happen, but I just like to give strategies for people who actually want to make money and do it quickly. And so there's a lot of strategies people are missing out by actually following what the retailers are saying to them. There's again, 10 different or more ways to sell in a retail chain. So the sales professionals ignore what the retailers say, do not submit their product online or derange me or whatever. What they do is actually get their contact information of the appropriate buyer specific to their product based on all their strategy work and understanding and building out their plan, as mentioned in my previous segments. And then they reach out to the buyers directly in a very specific way um, so that the buyers can review it. The appropriate buyer who has the money can review it. And typically the buyer will respond if, again, they're not annoying, they did everything right and so forth. And once the buyer says yes, then they're happy to fill out the paperwork and so forth. A sales rep cannot rely on submitting your product into the cloud. They really do need to make money. And the only way to do that is to approach a buyer particularly in a very specific way. And as I mentioned, there's no relationships that these sales reps can actually have with these chain stores. They can't take them to dinner. The bottom line is that so they know how to get the buyer to review. They do it that way. And then they work backwards and fill out all the forms. So I'm sorry to say that for those of you who submitted your product in the cloud and range me and all these things, it's okay, but typically that's not a way to convert. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. Most of the time they never even actually saw your product, so I wouldn't worry about it. 
it's kind of messy. I had one client, I have many clients, you know, who say, look, I, I don't know what you're going to teach me because I've already tried going out for stores. And I say, okay, what did you do? And most of the time they'll tell me they submit it this way and then the buyers rejected them. But you don't even know if the buyer rejected you. It could just be that particular person who reviewed your product, who didn't see the gold in your product, whatever it was that caused you not to make money. So the professionals go directly to buyers and pitch them appropriately. Now, I don't teach the actual pitch in this training, not because I'm being annoying, but actually because there's logic behind it. Because again, if I can extract the gold out of your individual product, I know that you have a much higher conversion rate and that's what I'm trying to do for people. So if I throw some random outline of just follow this without even looking at your product or understanding what you're trying to do, I'm actually doing you a disservice. So some people get annoyed with me on these free trainings and so forth because they want what they want. They just want the pitch, say the words, don't tell me all this fluff. And I'm like, look, I know how important this is for you and I'm not going to just throw out random things for a maybe. My goal is to help you figure out where the money is and extract it as quickly and easily as possible. And by giving you some random pitch that doesn't necessarily convert for your audience, for your buyers and so forth, that's not going to be supportive for you. So be aware that through this training, I'm going to give you specifics on finding buyers and all the details, but um, if you want the actual words to use, there's a little bit more depth and that's just something that we have to work through a little bit further. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to know how to approach pitch and sell to retailers, please take a look at the links below. You can take a look at retailmba.com. We work with people who want to do the work themselves and go after stores themselves, or we work with people who need some additional support where we actually help you understand how to go after stores. And then we do the work for you. There's a lot of opportunity for us to help you wherever you are in your business as well. We work with every product category at every stage of your business. So if interested, please take a look at what we're up to, retailmba.com. Otherwise, like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate you. And thank you so much for your time. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. And we are honored to be here with you today. Thank you.